Hello, my name is Frank. Uh, you may wonder where I'm here. I'm here on top of the mountain, the mountain Ben Nevis. But then at the same time, God is everywhere. God is also here. That's why my Bible, this leads me to take me where I have to be. When I came up this mountain, it wasn't an easy thing. It took me some time to come up, up here. You follow a certain path, and then you actually climb, and you're sweating, and you stumble. There's so many rocks, and you wonder, will I be there at the top? Yes, this is God's creation. I'll read you the word of God now. I'm going to take off my hat, because I'm talking to God, of course, and we are talking to God together, you and me. The book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 9, it says, And God said, Let the water under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. That's how God created the mountains and the sea and the rivers. When I came up this mountain, saw the streams running down the water and then I thought how did this water come to the mountain? It's not raining but the water came to the mountain and it's running down. How does it work? People say gravity. Of course you can say gravity but I say it's the wonder of God and because of that I really appreciate who God is and I believe in nature and I believe in creation. And because of that, of course, you also have to believe. At a certain time in your life, of course, you would have to believe. You don't want to believe only when you're about to die. No, you have to believe now. This path which I walked today, it wasn't an easy one. There's a path, but the path, sometimes you don't see it. Sometimes you're walking alone and you wonder, will I get to the top? Of course, sometimes you follow certain people who are also lost. If you follow them, you'll be lost as well. That's why a blind person following another blind, both will be lost. And then as well, there was a bit of stumbling, almost falling. But of course, I stood up and I had to wear the right boots, the right clothing as well. I had to wear watches to make sure what time I'm, I'm starting and what I'm finishing as well. But don't forget your word, because the word leads you. Uh, the book of um, the book of Philippians, chapter um, three, verse fourteen. It says, "I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus." As you came up the mountain, there's your mark, you must come to the top of it. So, that was my aim. I didn't want to go back before I come to the top. Sometimes people start a journey, but then they go back. Sometimes they just lose everything. But we have to persevere. Now, how do we persevere? The only way to persevere is to make sure that somebody is leading you and that somebody is actually God because if God does not lead you then you find yourself really not doing the right thing that's why you have to work with the author of your faith the author and finisher of your faith. If you don't work with him, it's very difficult for you to finish the, the, the race. So, and the journey. So, be careful. The winds, you can hear the wind here, it's very strong. I have to shield myself here in a corner so that I'm not battered by the wind. Otherwise, if we don't shield ourselves, then we find ourselves also being battered by the wind. And of course, we have to be very sure that it's only God. We have to grasp Him, take hold of Him. We have to 
wear the right equipment as well, like the boots, so that we are not armed in our way. We have to rely on the marks of God, like prophecy is one of them. So, let's be careful, because the author and founder of our faith is God, the Lord Jesus. We have to follow Him. Yes, without Him, we get nowhere. Yes? I'm going to go down this mountain now. Yes, and I know he's, he's the one who protects us. He's the one who leads us. And another video will follow whereby we're going to sh show the wonders of the earth and the wonders of the mountain. Just to share the Mount Benevis. God bless you for now and have a good time.